very much, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice to see you. Welcome to the eighth annual Laughing Matters. Well, let that go through all your heads. It's the eighth annual Laughing Matters, ladies and gentlemen, or as they call it in Red Deer. Hey, those gay people in Toronto are getting together to put an addition on that little house they all live in again. Yeah, very nice to be here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, big commendation to the Comedy Network, because I'm going to tell you one thing about the Comedy Network that no one has ever told you, ladies and gentlemen. Wherever a set can be built with $5 worth of carpet and 10 bucks worth of canvas, and people are willing to work for free, the Comedy Network will be there. That's right. Yeah. This is the most money the Comedy Network has ever spent on a show, ladies and gentlemen. I speak from experience. Yeah, very nice to have all of you here. I'm sure uh, many of you have heard by now I rode in the Gay Pride Parade on Sunday. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, let me explain to you how that happened, folks. Uh, it was an accident. I, uh, every Sunday, I rent a blue BMW convertible, and I slap a sign on the passenger door with my name on it, and I cruise down Young Street and wave at people. Well, when I got there this Sunday, you could have knocked me over with a feather. It was absolutely fabulous. All these people waving back at me. Nothing like scantily clad men. You know what I notice about gay men? They know how to build up specific muscle groups. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in my life. I got down the street and I was thinking, man, this is wonderful. There's 800,000 people here. You know, I drove by 799,000 people and heard nothing but positive comments. I got to that last thousand and I heard a guy yell out, Mike Bullard, you suck. You know, a lot of men would have gotten angry. A lot of men would have jumped out of the car and throttled the guy. But then it occurred to me, hey, I'm riding in the gay pride parade. I'm flattered. You know? The only thing this guy could have said to me, which would have made my heart swell even more, would have been, Mike Bullard, you suck well. <laughs> you know. But uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm sure many of you are not aware of it, is the 20th anniversary of the gay bathhouse raids in Toronto. Yeah. Now, this may seem to you not a reason for celebration, but uh, this tells me that the cops in Toronto are a lot smarter now than they were 20 years ago. I do not see how that was a solution to any kind of problem to bust the gay bathhouses. I could see the chief of police at the time meeting with his deputy and saying, you know what? We're going to bust the gay bathhouses. We're going to put all those guys in prison and put an end to that behavior. <laughs> you know, bright people. You know? Now, I'm sure, I'm sure there are some of you here from the media tonight. You know, I, I, I tend to be seen as a, a rather gay, friendly person. And, and tonight is sponsored by uh, Hildebrand Wine. And I'll tell you, after a bottle of that, I'm an extremely gay-friendly person. <laughs> but, you know, a lot of people are saying to me, hey, you know, the media's getting on me. They're on me constantly. They're saying, you know, Mike, what's the story? Are you gay? Are you not gay? And uh, I guess my response to that would probably be, you know, one of these days, I am going to sleep with a man. Now, my intention is to make the whole thing look like an accident. But one of these days, I am going to, you know, uh, I talked to these guys, some of these reporters. Jim Slotek asked me once, you know, nice guy, not too bright. <laughs> but, you know, he asked me one day, he said, so what's the story? I said, look, Jim. I said, uh, I kiss a lot of men on the mouth on the show. You know. I'm riding in the Gay Pride Parade next Sunday. I'm hosting a benefit for AIDS, and I've had a drastic weight loss. Do the math, you idiot. <laughs> Now, I have uh, a telegram here. 
This is a uh, telegram from the mayor of Toronto. I don't, I don't think we need to name names. So I'm going to read this to you, and uh, let me tell you one thing. Uh, there's only one reason Mel Lastman can't be here tonight, and that, uh, that's because his photographer is very, very ill. But, so just allow me to read this. It's a telegram from Mel Lastman. Here it is. It reads, I'm sorry I couldn't be there tonight. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's wrong that I couldn't be there, and I'm sorry. Now, I uh, asked him this afternoon if he might be coming next year. And he sent another one that said, Sorry, I couldn't be there next year. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. It's wrong that I can't be there, and I'm sorry. I can't be there for that, and I'm sorry. Remember also everybody's distancing themselves from this guy right now? Especially during the reading of that particular passage. <laughs> Everybody is distancing themselves from this guy since his uh, intemperate comments two weeks ago, you know? As a matter of fact, uh, today the Louis boys held a press conference and said they are in no way related to him whatsoever. <laughs>